Alright, hello YouTube, this is I. So this time I'm going to tell you how you can create impulses from real spaces. Okay, so today I was at a local kebab place and I went to the bathroom and I heard that the bathroom sounded kind of cool so I took out my iPhone and then I recorded a really short sound where I make like this kind of sound with my with my mouth and I actually failed the first time and then I managed to do it the second time so what I'm going to show you how you can actually use this recording and create an usable IR impulse uh, somebody asked on the internet how I actually made that sound and the way I made that sound it was that with my mouth and yeah that's about it. It's not really that hard. So let's listen first to this. I actually have to overdub somehow, but anyway. Okay, that was the file. So, as we can see, we actually have two candidates for... So let's do this in order city. So let's just duplicate this and then Let's cut it here and cut it cut it here. All right. So if you didn't know command I command I is split in order city. Here we have the first one and then let's take the second one also. Okay, so now we have two different files, so let's check the waveform db. So here it starts to get louder, it means that it will most likely be just background noise. So here what we'll do is we'll just make a fade out. And do the same thing here. Alright, so what we'll do is that we will select this one and then we go to File, Export, and let's go to Audio, Impulses, Toilet, write it in, and then let's mute this one. Okay, and then what we'll do is that we will go to our DAW and then we will use these impulses. Okay, so here we are in Cubase. Let me show you how you can then load it. I have imported a sound file. Sorry that the audio quality is what it is because I don't have my sound card with me, but this is just to show the process. So the drums are there. So they are as an audio track. So I'll make, because if you remember from the earlier, it was a mono file that I recorded with the iPhone. So I'm using a mono version of the IR Live. If it would have been a stereo re recording, I would have used a stereo version of IR Live. Okay, so this is a, an impulse loader by Waves, but you can use any that you want. For example, Cubase comes with Reverence, and there's uh, several other paid and free ones. All right. Anyway, so let's go and load the impulse. So let's first load the, I don't know, impulse 2. So if you want to tweak the settings, you just tweak it here. And how you can then send it is that we create a send to this. And this is sent from the track. And let's open it up just a bit. And without it, okay. I what I, 
what I think I'll do is that I'll actually take like two bars from here and then I'll export so you can hear how it sounds with and without the effects. Anyway, but that's basically just what it is. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. I make new videos every week. And thank you for watching and make good music.